This Why were you switching Apex? Got tired of Overwatch? Um, you know what? Actually, what? I think it's actually time we have this important conversation. This is actually an important conversation to have. So a lot of people keep coming in and asking me like, oh, why are you not playing Overwatch? Like, why do I not see streaming Overwatch as much? Why are you, um, you know, playing Apex or other games that much? And I, and you know what? That's a very valid concern. I'm going to first invite you to see Exhibit A before we get started. I just refreshed, so this is the absolute maximum. ML has been live for three hours. Actually, I think ML's actually been live longer than that. He might have actually had to reset his stream. So ML is probably the number, is undefiable, undeniably the number one streamer right now in daytime Overwatch. 1.7, 1.8K viewers. And you know what ML7 was about a year ago? About a year ago, ML7 was around the three to 3.3K-ish. Uh, and Emong was as well throughout the day. So Emong's strength is like streaming long hours. So like, He'll start after ML, and then when ML gets off and, like, you know, people get off throughout the day, his viewership goes really high up. But, like, that was the peak. The peak of daytime streaming, not named Super, was around 3 to 3.3K. The peak now is 2K. What does that mean? Well, if you follow the compression of it, it means everyone's ceiling has come down quite a bit. I won't lie to me, as a, not only a content creator, uh, a very goal individual, goal-oriented individual, and someone who very much strives to be the best at everything I do. It has been a really big emotional roller coaster to watch my average viewership go over a thousand four times in my Overwatch career and then inevitably come back down. And most recently before, and I'm talking before the beta, so before the beta, I started to average a thousand to 1200 up to a maximum of 1800. And this was pre-beta, normal Overwatch. That was everyone excited for the beta and building up. Then the beta hits, that's that massive stream, you know, with drops and all that, which is big pog. But now for the average consumer, Overwatch is dead until Overwatch 2. It just is. Um, the ceiling is kind of gone. Um, the ceiling has come down even harder. And I am worried that the June 16th announcement is an announcement of an announcement. And so follow my thought process here. We got an announcement in March that announced the beta in April. The beta was three weeks. The beta goes for three weeks and the beta ends. Then there's like a one to week, two week period or so where we hear nothing. Then we get the announcement of the June announcement, right? So from March, we're in March now, March to, to, to May and then June, we get the June announcement, June 16th. So June 16th, we're gonna likely get a beta announcement. The beta announcement, I think it's gonna be somewhere between two weeks to a month from that announcement. I doubt it's gonna be like the next day or anything like that. So June 16th, we get an announcement for let's say a month. It's July 16th. Then the beta goes for three weeks. Beta goes from July 16th to August, the first week of August. First week in August, the beta ends. The beta ends and then there's two weeks or so, right? That's right around the time that Overwatch League finals start and stuff like that, like playoffs and what. Whatnot. I think that there's a, then an announcement for another beta around that time, but another month away. Because I think there's two to three betas. They said there's multiple betas. I'm assuming there's at least three. That's what I think. So we've now gone from March to August, right? And we're not even near the, the, the game yet. We're still in beta. We had a, sec, a third beta announcement somewhere around that August, September range, which is after Overwatch League, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be around the same time as Overwatch League. I bet it's like Overwatch League is like the last hurrah, and then it leads into another beta, something like that, right? There's going to be something timed with it. Something's going to be tied with the beta in Overwatch League. I don't know what, what, but that's just my hunch, right? Follow the process here. Let's say the last beta is in October or end of September. Right? They said they're going to share their plan for the next months and more than a beta announcement. I agree. I agree. But they said it's a save the date, right? And that means that we could get a roadmap. But there was, I don't know how much true this was. I saw Samino made a video on Twitter basically saying that in like an investor call recently, they said that Overwatch is a 2023 announcement, like release. Now that could be the PVE, but if that is correct, if that is correct, following the timeline of the third beta being in like September and October, and we have another lull period of a month and a half, two months, we're not gonna have PVP for like over six months, if not more, in, in a good estimate, never mind a longer estimate. I have to think about myself and I have to think about my own career and what I wanna do. Like, I don't wanna leave Overwatch, but what am I gonna do for the next six months? I can't Q ranked every day and like just play. Look at this, this is a, this is legitimately embarrassing. Look, look at this. I, I mean, it might've changed a little bit because it's been a little while since I've been on, but I'm rank 18 right now 
with my most played as Roadhog with a 68% win rate in season 34. Like there's nobody playing. Like ranked is not fun. It's not competitive really anymore. I'm running out of steam with other types of content. Now I have a few things planned. I have a few things I wanna try. Um, I'm trying to get the right resources to make those possible. But I, I, there, a lot of the community is bleeding itself dry. I mean, even look at like Jay. Jay is, let me, let me show you. But Jay's basically, Jay is basically gone into like full like spectating, right? Like, um, let's see, spectating, um, spectating, uh, pro versus bronzes, uh, bronze winner making a rush too. Like, like he's kind of gone my route, you know what I mean? And like tried to be uh, a little bit more like, you know, like fun and inv innovative content. But it's like, you can only do that for so long. You're basically become a one trick pony at that point. And what I've learned in streaming is my stream basically is, is like low key hijacked half the time by the, the bronze viewers. Like they just want, they're like, come go spectate, go spectate, go spectate. I'm like, dude, I want to do other things. Like I want to play games. I'm a streamer. I like to, I like to have a live audience where I play games. I'm entertaining. I make it a fun time. Like, I don't want to be a react, like, it's not even fun reacting to new videos. It's literally like, it's like pick me's. It's people like jumping up and down going, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. Like, I, dude, like it's insanity. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's terrible. It's not fun for me. And, and I love to do it, but in moderation. And, and the fact that we've running out of content means that there's, or actually, sorry, we've run out of content. There's not much else to do. The other things, because I know this isn't my ceiling. Are you forgetting about the amazing content between betas? Remix skins will keep the game out of hospice copium. Yeah, no shit. So listen, I, I know like it's a little bit, trust me, it's way scarier than it, if it is for me than it is for you. Like, I'm not trying to be like, a, like an asshole about it, but me trying other games and like having to think about maybe like career shifting as so radically when I've spent years getting into Overwatch in its dead period, it, it, it trust me, it is way scarier for me to think about and do than for you to see me leave. Like, and I, that doesn't mean to take away from your experiences in any way, shape or form, but it's tough. You know, it is a tough decision. And I haven't made a final decision yet and I haven't even found anything I genuinely like, but Apex does have a lot of my same skill set and it's a healthy game and it's doing pretty well. I'm just not the greatest or the biggest BR fan solo queue. You know, like how do I, how do I not have it always solo queue all the time? That's like, you know what I mean? Like it's tough. That's why I'm doing more variety until the June announcement. Cause if the June announcement comes, listen, if the June announcement comes and they're like, Hey, beta next week or in two weeks, I'll probably just stick it out, right? Whatever. But if they say beta in a month, then I have to start considering my options, right? We got the, I think we got the save the date back in May, right? Like May 15th, right? May 15th, we get to save the date for June 16th. That's a month. Then we get there and it's another month. That's two months. Like I stream every day. That is two months of content I need to figure stuff out for, for every single day until we get there. But I have a lot of ideas and a lot of things I've always wanted to do. And a lot of things that I can kind of like come up with, you know, I've always been very good at coming up with almost out of the box ideas for content. But at some point I have to realize that maybe career wise, I'm in a, I'm, shorting myself a little i genuinely believe that if overwatch was in a healthy state when i started my spectating series those would have all been million view videos i, I, I maybe it's an maybe it's an egotistical thing but i the growth from that series alone was unbelievable i was like a 60 70k sub youtuber and i i hit 100k in a month and then once i it died off when i had i think like around either like 120 or 140k that's when like the steam wore off it had so much potential right and people do enjoy it. I'm not, I don't disagree. Like I, I was really, really like appreciative for how many people enjoyed it, but like the, it was so shorted by how bad Overwatch was, you know, let me, let me explain to you a little bit, like the streaming aspect of it. If I could decide to go variety for the next month or two months, you understand that I have to, I am then making the conscious decision as a streamer to now stunt my growth because when you become a variety streamer, unless you're at the top of the chart, you pretty much don't grow anymore your stream is done like you are you have the following you have not many new people show up why well it's a lot easier to build a community around a single game than it is around multiple games for example everyone in here at some point either shared overwatch with me and either still plays with it or used to play it if you don't if you are here and you've never touched overwatch in your life you are probably the only person here i don't think there's a single one here in the stream right now that has never touched Overwatch before. 
Going grow as fast, you need to pick games that reach all corners of your established audience. Uh, the data doesn't totally support that, though. You know, like, you'll maybe you'll find, like, one or two people, like, along the way in, like, certain games. But if you're not at the top of that Twitch chart, it's really hard. That's why most streamers, when they swap games, stick with a certain game. There's only the other exception is if like you're a massive, massive streamer, like for example, live stream fails, like all the streamers that are involved with live stream fails. Basically, they all feed into each other really, really hard. That's why live stream fails is a successful idea, even as toxic as it is. So live stream fails, basically you have new and old streamers that basically just cycle through each other, like drama frogs or and like, you know, people that watch certain games or want to watch certain RPs or whatever it is like they constantly just flow through each other, right? Like they constantly can keep re revolving around each other so that like, nobody really like falls out of touch with each other. Like you can watch other streamers and they interact with other things, other pieces of content. That's why you have like reacts to reacts to reacts, you know, and everyone reacts to someone's reaction of this reaction, you know, like it just farms itself through, you know, and basically like you know, like, let's say you, like, Hassan reacts to something that Forsen said, and then XQC reacts to Hassan's reaction, you know what I mean? Like, it all flows itself through, because then Hassan goes back and watches XQC's reaction, like, it all flows through itself. But that's different than variety gaming. Like, variety gaming, you know, it, it's a lot harder. It is a whole lot harder, because if you're not, if you don't have that established massive base, and you've been, you know, you're greater known by most of the community, even people like Tim and, 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 and Nick Marks, they stick with a s one game. Like when they play other games, like I know Tim plays other games. Like I know Tim plays other games. Like Tim plays like WoW and shit off stream all the time. They don't play those games on stream because they don't want to confuse their viewership. My Overwatch follow numbers every day has falling, fallen a ton. Like it has fallen a ton, like comparison to like what it was. Like for example, hang on, I'll give you a quick example. Ready? I'll give you a quick example. My follow number, like new followers gained from April, 26th and 27th was bigger than my entire month of March and February combined. I can I can speak from my experience with Overwatch is like staying with your own single game and like having a YouTube for it and streaming it consistently and becoming a known figure and known name in the in the in that in that scene it is a there's a difference between getting 10 followers a stream and getting 100 or 150, you know? I mean, cares. Like, as usual, there's something to say. They show up everywhere. We're directly complaining. They all hide in a hole. I mean, what What? What are they going to do, though? They're all working on a rush, too. Like, what do we want? We want shit fixed now, dude. Nobody wants to hear about what they're doing in six months. Like, nobody gives a f Like, the very small group of people that are, like, super dedicated and, like... Like, hang on the everywhere and like, oh, really? Like, that's coming. Like, that sounds like a really cool idea. I like that. Like, people don't give a f like, the, the general populace doesn't care about that. Like, the all, like, whenever, like, they've tried to communicate more recently, right? Like, I think that's why the dev stream, the dev stream with SCB and ML7 was so, like, hush hush, kind of, was because they, every time they make these big announcements of, like, big streams or whatever and they try to publicize it, people get upset and they're like, oh, this wasn't the announcement for Overwatch 2. What the f is this? This shit sucks, you know? It's like, dude, nobody cares anymore. Everyone just wants to hear when's the the release date. Like, that's all like, people care about at this point. They, they don't care about anything else. Or they want Overwatch 1 updates, and that's not going to happen. So, like, we're, we're literally... Why can't the first Overwatch beta be put in Overwatch 1 either as a separate card or completely overwrite it? Because it's completely different engines. They don't work like that. Like, I'm not a game dev, but, like, you basically can't just copy and paste, you know, all the patch notes and the way the game plays over to Overwatch 1. Like... The entire design from the ground up is different. I think people that actually still enjoy having, like, playing the game and having fun with it, take it as, like, an attack. When people are like, no, like, this game is terrible now. Like, they literally, like, it is legitimately Man. disgusting how much out of fa- like, how far this game has fallen. As a live service AAA title, like, it is literally disgustingly sad. Like, there's nothing wrong with still enjoying, like, the way the game plays and enjoying, like, you know, the experience of the game. Of course there isn't, you know? And, but like, you know, those people that's saying that it's terrible don't invalidate your feelings that you have fun. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not on opposite sides. So like, that's you know, I see people say that a lot. Like, people get mad. People get mad on like Twitter and stuff. They're like, oh, can we stop talking about how bad Overwatch is now? It's so boring. And it's like, yeah, no, you don't wrong. Not wrong because people are just like farmers. But like, at the same time though, like some of those people that are upset about it is mostly because like. You know they 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 still enjoy the game there's like this nothing wrong with that you know
it's hard to not take it as an attack the hate but it's not talking about you personally it's it's talking about how a triple a title hasn't had any updates like a, it hasn't had a serious balance update since March. It's supposed to be a competitive shooter with a live eSport with 20 teams that paid at least 8 million, upwards of $20 million per spot Bingo. that have fully contracted staff, have fully contracted, um, you know, uh, social media teams, coaches, branding and marketing and merch. And there's millions and millions and millions of dollars thrown behind this game from different areas to see it literally not get a single update in over almost three years is unbelievable you know you like even team fortress 2 i think is having a crossover with like ruby or some shit like we got recolored skins you know and i get it because they're working on overwatch 2 but at the same time though there's been rumors and talks about overwatch 2 since april i mean not april sorry actually no it was november of 2019 um, when they showed BlizzCon uh, 2019, they showed off PvE. So the game has probably been in development for like six years at this point, five years. The fact that it's taken that long, I think that's why the, the general public was so upset with the beta and expected it to be so much more. And I think kind of rightly so, you know? I kind of think rightly so. Well, those who say it's a dead game, find dead games will agree the game needs more attention. Oh yeah, 100%. 100% because I mean the people who say dead games still play the game You know Just not as much and to be honest with you rightfully so